Hey everyone, it's May 23rd, and that means that if today is your birthday, you shared with Richard Trenton Chase, a serial killer known as the Vampire of Sacramento, due to his drinking the blood of his six victims and eating their internal organs. He believed that unless he consumed their blood, Nazis would turn it into powder by using poison they had placed beneath his soap dish. And that is him right up there. Born in 1950, Chase grew up in a strict household and experienced frequent beatings from his father. He became an alcoholic and drug user as a teenager, and often mutilated animals and started fires, meeting almost every stereotype there is about serial killers. Chase even blended the entrails of the animals he mutilated into smoothies, which he believed he needed to do to keep his heart from shrinking so much that he would die. He did begin to see a psychiatrist in 1968, but only to discuss his problems with erectile dysfunction. At the age of 21, he moved in with friends, but shockingly, he wasn't a good roommate, and when he refused to move out, they all just left instead, forcing him to go back to his parents. After complaints of bizarre medical issues, such as saying that his arteries had been stolen and that he, his blood no longer pumped, he was admitted to a psych ward, but his mother got him out instead of letting him get the help he desperately needed. He bounced between staying with his now-divorced mother and father, and after becoming poisoned by injecting rabbit blood into his veins, Chase was institutionalized, where he gained the nickname Dracula after he captured two birds through the bars on his window window, snapped their necks, and sucked their blood out. Upon his release, his father moved him into his own apartment, because there were no red flags or anything to indicate that perhaps he should have some supervision. His mother weaned him off his psychiatric medication, believing that it was no longer needed. He fell into conspiracy theories about Nazis and UFOs and began to amass a stockpile of handguns, all while continuing to abuse animals, because why wouldn't you sell him a bunch of guns? Chase became a fan of the Hillside Strangler, obsessively reading about the case. Scroll back and watch yesterday's video for more about that one. In 1977, he visited his mother, bringing a dead cat with him. He ripped it open and smeared its blood on himself, and his mother responded by closing the door and didn't report the incident to anyone. Later that year, he was found naked and covered in blood, and he also had shot a handgun through the window of a home in Sacramento, but nothing was done. Just before the new year, Chase killed a man in a drive-by shooting, and two weeks later began his murders in earnest. He broke into homes while engaging in bizarre behavior, and after a string of innocence, entered the home of a pregnant woman who he shot in the head before committing necrophilia while stabbing her remains. He then drank her blood and committed other horrible acts with the corpse. A week later, Chase broke into a home where he killed four people, two adults and two small children, engaging in similar behavior with the corpses as he had done previously. The FBI became involved in the search for the killer, and he was quickly apprehended, with his apartment covered in blood from his activities and bits of human organs strewn about. After being convicted of six murders in 1979, Chase killed himself the next year while sitting on death row by overdosing on psychiatric medication that he saved up for the occasion. If this is your birthday, hope you have a great day. Leave me a comment so I can wish you a happy birthday. If you know somebody whose birthday it is today, send them those videos so they can find out all about their birthday twin. And to Richard Trenton Chase, I say, happy birthday, you bastard.